absolutely and already perfect condition. Which nobody else. Gone. You might be able to find one here or one there, but not in 30th anniversary annex certified. And as we round into the nine o'clock hour, if mm -hmm. you're just tuning in, flipping through channels, this is the I think the coin of the show. This is what we were so excited about when we started an hour ago. Now we're getting into the details. Seriously, 110 are already gone out of the 300 <laughs> that Mike said we have. Right. So this is definitely, I know it's 14.99, but you just saw and heard about the other rare coins that are way more expensive. Now I wanna talk about the other thing that makes this coin. Okay, it, on the face of it, being the rarest American silver eagle ever, because I understand there is no coin really, I think, more collectible than the American silver eagle. Because it's got the intrinsic value, it's got all this value, it's got all these other things, it's got the importance of the American silver eagle that has been made since 1986, since the Liberty Coin Act was signed into law by President Ronald Reagan in 1986. It has all of that cachet. And so this now becomes the single most important coin in the entire set. The single rarest coin. The fact of the matter is, though, is you can buy it for significantly less than number two and number three, which is nice. Yeah. Okay, the second rarest and the third rarest together is going to cost you $35,000. But you can get a coin that is rarer than both of those at $14.99, but only because we owned the original coin. If I were to, let's say, be able to go out and find 50 sets today, I could maybe get 12 or 15 or 18 of them to grade in 70 and I would have to charge $2,000 or $2,500 or $3,000 on a per coin basis, which I think is where you may end up seeing this coin. I have no idea. I'm not a clairvoyant. I have no, uh, you know, I have no uh, uh, crystal ball so that I can de determine exactly what's going on. But I've been doing this a very long time and I know a coin when I see it. And this, my friends, is a coin. This, my friends, is a coin. So let's go back to the coin itself. So not only is this the rarest American silver, but it occupies an extraordinarily interesting part in American numismatic history. And let me explain to you what that is. Take a look at this right here. Remember what I told you the rarest coin prior to this was, of course, the 10th anniversary American Silver Eagle. They did a 10th anniversary set, a 20th anniversary set, and a 25th anniversary set. 2016 was actually the 30th anniversary of the American Silver Eagle. The United States government did not do a special set. What they did, however, is they marked the proof American Silver Eagles with this 30th anniversary stamp. This wasn't me. The government put 30th anniversary on the edge of the coin. None of these other anniversary coins made by the United States government are stamped anywhere on the coin in any way, shape, or form with 10th anniversary, 20th anniversary, 20th anniversary, only the 30th anniversary. So the coin is unique and desirable and collectible in its own right. And it stands on its own as a collectible for the 30th anniversary. But now you have this subset of this coin that was done in this congratulations set from 2016 that by set designation now has become by far and away the single rarest American silver eagle ever done by the United States Mint. And you have that coin right here available exclusively. You're just not going to find this coin anywhere but from me. It's okay? literally one of the from, world's from most me. popular coins. Well, and, and if you show, we, we have 120 of these sold. Now understand there's not another person on the planet that has 20 of these, let alone 120 of right. these, okay? Right. It is once again by pure and utter and complete happenstance that I have these coins to begin with. Pure and simply, that is the fact, And it okay? is limited. It's very limited. So once I have this quantity, I mean, you know, we, I, I had sent in the coins to be graded and that's what we have. I have, uh, have the graded coins here. This is today. The only day that I have sold this coin and made it available, I now have 125 of these coins gone. Sold. I now have 125 of these coins sold is ultimately what it comes down to. So you've got the 30th anniversary eagle. If you can, I think we have a coin after this that is going to, and, and maybe we can just flash it. It's the 2017 17. Congratulations Silver Eagle in proof 69. Yep. Okay. It's $269, right? Am I correct in that? Yes, you are. And it's we... $269. I sold out the 70s. And we have 70 left. Okay, I have, I sold out the 70s, I think at $499. Okay, so the congratulations set is an extraordinarily desirable coin. At $499 with the S-Men Eagle, they did 75,000 of those sets. Those sold out instantaneously at 500. This set is literally 15 times rarer. 
the 2016, because they did 5,900. Huh. 5,966 like is total. the final mintage. That's not in 70. That's not perfect. Oh. That is the total mintage of all the sets in existence. In whatever condition. In whatever condition. Hmm. So now you are looking at this coin. And as a matter of fact, I saw someone uh, uh, was selling a PCGS. A congratulations, 2016 and 2017 Proof 70 Eagle set, the two coin set. And I saw they were selling that for $10,000. 10 grand. Now, I don't know if they sold it, so that yeah. could be a, a, you know, a price that's not necessarily reflective, uh -huh. but I didn't see any other sets out there. What I can tell you is the single most important coin in that configuration is this coin right here, is the 2016 congratulations set. And I know, look, you, you've been with me a long time. You guys have been doing this a long time uh, and collecting a long time. I know you kind of want to look at things. Don't look at it too long, but go out there and see. The uncertified, ungraded 2016 congratulations sets right now are going to run you. I don't think it's, it's it, it, at all possible to buy a set for less than $600. And then you'd have to send it in and get certified and hope you get a oh, 70. Oh, that's true. And hope. Okay? And, and hope. hope. And that's a one in three, one in four shot, basically, is what risky. it comes down to. And I have, I have the greatest uh, uh, grading uh, uh, history in terms of uh, and the grading research that anybody else on the planet has because I have basically 25% of the sets. Okay? And then, let's say you paid $700, and you, get, and you got one in four. So that means you're in it for at least $2,800, $3,000, and that's what, you know, I'd have to sell this. If I was into the open market and bought some 2016 congratulations sets, I'd be double or triple or quadruple this price. So when you get to the point where you have a true and exact and incredible American rarity, <clears throat> which is exactly what this coin is, nothing less than an absolute American uh, uh, collectible treasure is really what this comes down to. Because at the end of the day, what you have is the single rarest American silver eagle ever made by the United States government, by mintage, by set, by mintage. 5,966. The only thing that even comes close is the 1995 W 10th anniversary set. Everybody knows that coin. It's legendary. It is absolutely, positively legendary, folks. And it's a 30 to $30,000 or even more coin in absolutely perfect 70 condition. This coin is five times rarer, oh, wow. five times rarer than the 95W, okay? I remember with great fanfare, which has been one of the greatest numismatic treasures and gifts. Once again, the United States government gifted us the second rarest American silver eagle, which is now the third rarest, the 2015 Philadelphia Minted Eagle, which they secretly made at the Philadelphia Mint in 2015. They made 79,000 of those coins. That coin in this condition in 70, we sell for $4,600 and we sell them, we don't have that many, but we sell them all the time. So when you look at coins that are of the same stature of this, in terms of the American Silver Eagle, which stands on its own anyway, which stands on its own anyway, folks. So when you look at coins of a similar or same stature as this particular coin, you're looking at coins that are gonna run anywhere from 4,500 to 5,000 to $30,000. That's what makes this, and this coin is rarer than both of those, at $1,499. The lowest price, the best price, the most incredible price that I or anyone, I believe, can offer you out there, particularly with Annex, nobody else is, is have that. I have basically all the graded Annex coins is ultimately what it comes down to. I'm not aware of anybody else having sent them congratulations sets to sell in any way, shape, or form. And therein lies the issue. So it's a one-time only opportunity, a one-time only uh, uh, sale, if you will. Now we've gotten to the point now where we've sold 142 of these coins. Yep. So it's not as if, you know, uh, you're uh, sitting out there by yourself figuring out whether or not you want to own this. Oh, at $1,499, uh, uh, you know, I can take my time. And I know you'd like to think that. Unfortunately, I don't believe you have that time. Unfortunately, I don't believe you have that opportunity. And the reason being is, as we get deeper into this, and there's literally, and I'm doing a very long presentation on this. And one of the reasons is, is I know my regular uh, uh, coin collectors are literally contemporaneously now doing research and figuring out 
He's right on point, he usually is. He's right on point. The rarity of this is, is unprecedented in modern American numismatics. And it's not, and sometimes we have a coin that's a, you know, perhaps, what's the best way to describe it? Maybe obscure, a slightly obscure coin, like a nickel or something like that. But this is a silver eagle. Yeah. Okay, of all the collectible coins that are out there, the American silver eagle is one of those coins that is, that is truly, kind of sets the standard in American numismatic collecting. And so not only do you have a coin that is fantastically collectible in its own right as an American silver eagle, all right? But you also have got a coin that is, uh, uh, the rarity of it is, like I said, virtually unprecedented in modern American numismatics. Now, one of the great things about this, and I understand you want to do your own thing and you want to, and you want to see this, and you go out there and go, oh, wow, the 2016 congratulations sets really are like $700, $800, ungraded, uncertified, and then, you know, go hope, you know, hope for your 70 yeah. at best case and scenario. Are on so that. slim. That's right. And, and you're, they, well, no, you know, you have a, a one in three, one in four chance, right. roughly, okay, okay, is kind of what you're looking at to be able to get those coins. That's well, what they it's are. Less than 50%. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's well less than 50%. And, and you understand it's all also a significant coin in its own right, the fact that it's the 30th anniversary. So it's not this kind of silver eagle, it's just, you know, 2013, what's special about that? Uh, 2013, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but this is a 30th anniversary eagle. And what does this mean, DCAM? D uh, stands for Deep Cameo. It's just an additional designator of value. It's the way, you know what a Cameo looks like. And so this looks Cameo because you've got this uh, uh, this it's deep really mirror crisp. finish here. Yeah, it's very crisp. It's very, And that's one of the things that makes it a 70. So not only do you have this coin that's the rarest coin out of the rarest set, this congratulations set of 2016, but it's also a 30th anniversary American Silver Eagle. And here's the key to this. Look, it is the only of all of the congratulations. If you're looking at every proof eagle ever made by the United States government, and include reverse proofs, not a single solitary one of them is edge lettered. Not a single solitary one of them is edge lettered, folks. So you've got a unique coin in its own right from that yeah, standpoint. you're right. Okay, now put it in the rarest set and make it the rarest silver eagle ever made by the United States government. And now I think you truly, ultimately begin to understand the collectability. And here's the thing. You're going to do that. You're going to look at that. Keep in mind, like any of the coins here, I never, ever, ever, ever want you to have a coin that you're not proud to pass down from generation to generation. Of course you have a 30-day money-back guarantee. You know? We of course you have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if this coin is not every single solitary thing that I say it is, please, I insist that you send it back immediately. If you'll notice, it just jumped up by like five coins sold. I know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely, positively certain there's dealer shopping on this because there's no other place for them to really get these. I absolutely was thinking the same thing. Of course that's what's happening. It's the right thing to do. I mean, you get this here, and then if you want to turn around and sell well, it. Here's what happened. I'm over half sold out now. I know. I'm over half sold out. You're, you're watching this. We have a, we have a little counter here that does this. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to ascertain, you know, with all the people on the phone, with all the coins that I have. And I understand we've got a lot of coins in the show, a lot of people buying a lot of things. I understand at $1,499.95, it's not for everybody. It's for discerning collectors uh, 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 and those types of things. I get that. And, you're, and you know, and it's not, a, it's not an, in, an insignificant uh, uh, consideration at $1,499. It's not at all. I understand what that is. So you have the 30-day money-back guarantee. Unfortunately, as this marches towards sellout, okay, as it marches down lower and lower and lower and lower, unfortunately, as we do that, it's problematic because I cannot replace these coins. And yeah, they are, like they are, they are irreplaceable. No this more. is not like, I, I can't go make some more. Exactly. The government <laughs> frowns on that, okay? <laughs> they, they have a thing for Maybe. that. They call that Counterfeiting. They, they, they frown on that intensely. <laughs> and I'm absolutely. And you're not going to look good in and I, Oh, and I'm 100% certain I wouldn't do well in prison. <laughs> that's, that's not my thing. So, because of that, you want to take advantage now. With the 30 day money back guarantee, you've got the backdrop. So, look, if it doesn't work out, if, you, if not what you end up wanting. But the problem is, is you don't want to pass it. You don't want to get what I like to call the woulda, coulda, shouldas. 
Where, you know, you wish you would have, I could have, I should have. Instead, mm -hmm. you have this, you have 30 days. Uh, 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 but, the, and the reason I say that, almost cavalierly, is very simply that I know when you buy this, it'll be what it is. It'll become a treasured part of your collection. You will be one of literally a few hundred people in, in existence in, in that can own this, exactly. this American Silver Eagle in perfect condition in your collection. You will be one of the very few. And once you do that, then in your collection. Now, no American Silver Eagle collection is complete without this incredible and phenomenal rarity. Let's say you've gone and gotten that 95W and you've paid 30,000, 40,000, 50,000. Okay, a PCGS example, the 1995W sold for $89,000 at great. auction several years ago. Okay, this coin is five times rarer. There are 5,966 congratulations set American Silver Eagles from 2016 ever made. Ever made. Not in 70. Not in annex, right? Just ever made, made. ever, 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 so ever to made. So them at this, I mean, p perfect condition. Re yes. At this price is unreal. What an exciting opportunity. Uh, we've sold 180. Yeah. We've got so few remaining. Yeah. This. I love listening to Mike. I, I know you feel the same way because it's important to understand why you're making this, the, the choice. It's funny. We had, we had a quantity. And as I'm, I'm standing here right, with my phone, I, I, I got a text and said, because yeah. they're grading on I mean, I am, I am in real time giving you the, the coins that I have available. And I get a text and I'm able to add, I added, you know, a couple of dozen more coins because they said, okay, this batch is 70s, okay? We're just about through the entire quantity of all the coins that we send and all the coins that I'll be able to get. Now, here's the thing. People say, so you You'll never ever sell this coin again. I didn't say that, okay? Because I will sell this coin again. Not a $1,499, but I will sell this coin again. I will sell this coin probably next year. I would assume it will be $2,000 or $2,500 or $3,000 because the congratulations sets, the ungraded, uncertified, and understand there's only $5,900, and because of what I have, there's only $4,000 basically, okay, even in the marketplace anywhere. Many of them have been opened up and certified and so on and so forth that are already out there. Of the ones that remain, I mean, you know, even if you pay $700, who knows if the coin will be 70? Who knows if it's a fresh set? Who knows what has happened to that set? Mine were all directly from the United States Mint, so I knew I had nice, beautiful, fresh, original sets, and even with those, only about a third of those coins, uh, give or take, only about a third of those coins, it looks like. And like I said, I don't have the final numbers yet. Only roughly a third of those coins will be 70, be PR 70s. The thing is, is even uh, if I get uh, some PR69s, I mean, I'm going to have to probably be $1,000 on those. Wow. You know, it, it's going to be probably $800 to 1000 for the 69s. And everybody knows the higher the grade, the more it's worth. Yeah. So if you're going to do it, get the 70. Why I'm going to sell the 70s first. Yeah. Get the best And then can. if anything that's left over, I'm going to sell the 69s. So let's go back and reiterate. I know I've got about five and a half, six minutes here. These are going very, very quickly. We're down to uh, basically a baker's dozen dozen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is. That's and exactly so, what actually less than that now. We're under a baker's dozen now. What you have here is this. It's the Proof American Silver Eagle from 2016. So on the face of it, it's a 30th anniversary American Silver Eagle. Okay? So on the face of it, and it's the only, and, and so let's take away the congratulations says, take away all the other stuff, and let's view this as an American Silver Eagle. The United States has made four different years of uh, uh, anniversary silver eagles. 10th anniversary, 20th anniversary, 25th, and, and 30th anniversary. Of those, only the 30th anniversary is edge lettered. Only the 30th anniversary is edge lettered on the coin itself. They didn't do a special set in essence, although as it seems, they turned out they did, <laughs> okay? They did the congratulations set with the 30th anniversary, with the 30th anniversary American silver eagle in it. They also did it in that 10th anniversary set, which has been the absolute standard for collectability, desirability in American numismatics for 25 years, basically. The 1995 American Silver Eagle in this condition, that 10th anniversary coin. And, and it's just a regular proof figure with the very first one that had a W mint on it. They made 31,000 in this condition. The last one I sold here, which wasn't that long ago, was $29,000. $29,000. $29,000. And it was a good bargain. It was quite the bargain at twenty nine thousand dollars. Grief. Over okay, this is supplanted. Now yeah, two hundred. Oh, yeah, a little over two hundred. Here, here's this our is problem. A prize. 
I think, unfortunately, we may have to uh, uh, start counting this down. We have about 10 dozen remaining, uh, two-thirds of the quantity, and, and not only, and, and I don't get to say this very often, two-thirds of the quantity available for sale of At any kind, any place, <laughs> anywhere, not even this price. I'm just talking about period. I don't care about the price, okay? <laughs> I suspect if, if you were able to hunt down every single 2016 Congratulations uh, uh, Proof 70 American Silver Eagle in the marketplace, the sum total of that number between all of the grading services would be somewhere around 500 coins. Okay, about 500 coins. And we just sold over 200 of them. I have, we've sold 40% of them right here. I've got mm -hmm. about 10% of them left. Yep, we've got about 100 and We had, like I said, I had about 25% of the mintage, many of them in private collections. And here's the thing. There's many people that bought these 2016 congratulation sets that have no idea what they have. And the reason is, is they've made the congratulation sets for years and years and years and years, okay? Nothing's ever really happened like this until the 2017. They made the special estimate. They did 75,000 of those. It's a $500 coin. And people bought this. They put it away. And they don't follow this numismatic minutia that I follow, okay? <laughs> they don't follow this along at home, if you will. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to do that for you. And so P there's people who, who bought these sets, and I think they were a bit less than 100 bucks, that all of a sudden have a set that's seven or $800. Ungraded and uncertified. So they and have no idea what they got. But you have to understand, that's today. Mm. Two weeks ago, those sets were four or five hundred dollars, ungraded and uncertified. Okay? Because then I bought my sets. I go out there and try to buy all the sets I could find in the marketplace. I found another three here, another four here, another eight there. Uh, uh, today, I went and looked. I was able to find two sets. One was, I think, 600. The other one was seven or 800. And the one uh, was looked kind of iffy to me. I didn't know if it was uh, a fresh set or not. Uh, but the other one, uh, uh, 700, $695. So basically, these sets, even ungraded and uncertified, basically uh, aren't, ex aren't in existence. Even ungraded and uncertified, folks, even ungraded and uncertified have become incredibly and phenomenally collectible. Why not get it in absolutely, positively perfect condition? Take that out of the mix, if you will. Take that, uh, uh, that, that thing where you, it's a possibility for you to not get a perfect coin. Now you can know with absolute you know, and complete exactly certitude. Mike. With absolute and complete certitude that you get a perfect coin. Perhaps, Rick, we can show them how many of these are left at this point. I think that's that the be, crucial number. Well, right now, I'm showing this is This is a close two. approximation of how many are left. 225 Kind gone? of period in the marketplace. 101 left. Yeah. We have a lot of people yeah, ordering, that, that, too, so. that only counts. To, see, that's in real time. Exactly. There's people in the process of ordering. We have we have as many people on the phone as we have sets it's left. pretty true. But they might not be ordering these. On the other hand, there may be people ordering two. That's true. Or four, or six, yeah. or eight, or ten, or twelve, or the last uh, 101. And collect. Yeah, you, you can. Know? I mean, you it, can. Could, it could be. Then they would control the market. Okay? Because nobody else would be out there with these coins in any way, shape, or form. Less than 100 the, available. That's right. The, the rarity, collectability, and desirability of this set is virtually unprecedented in modern American numismatics. We're well under 100 right now, and I have far more people on the phone. We're going to pass uh, this clock. Ooh, okay. We're going to process all of your orders. They, it looks like every single one will go. Uh, literally, we have now less than 90. So 230 spoken for, less than 90 available. It's here for you. You heard Mike. I mean, his passion is contagious, and there's a reason why this is such an opportunistic buy, especially for collectors. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for you guys, I really am. Well, and, and here's the thing. There's a lot of people that, that tape our show, okay? So like last night, when I sold these last night, at the end of the 3 a.m. hour, we had sold 23. When I woke up this morning after having slept after the show, we were up to 43. Ah. When I got here tonight, we were at 61. Uh huh. By the time you and I started presenting this, we were at 100. Yep. Okay? Now we're at uh, 200, and I have fewer than 100 remaining, only 95 coins left. So by the time you put all of those things together, and, and so. 94 uh, left, but we have 80 uh, people on the phones already. Uh, absolutely. And what happens, that doesn't even count the people that have, that have taped this. These have That's, not even uh, counted the people who are the cautious folk who I get, I who are looking at this. I I understand that. Yeah, I do that all the time. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, I drive around the place to get my hair cut before I spend 18 bucks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and go, oh, is really this a good day? Do I really need it? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Do I really need it? Can I go another week? So, so I get that, and I understand that. 
all right? So, but the problem is, is they're irreplaceable in essence, okay? The problem is they're irreplaceable. And it's a pricing issue, and it's a pricing opportunity. It's a, it's a, it's a buying opportunity. Um, you know, and, and one of the things that'll happen, of course, is because we've gone out there, people will approach us. And they'll say, I have five sets or eight sets or 10 sets or 12 sets. And I will do, do, and like I said, so this is not the last time I'll sell this. The one thing I can absolutely positively guarantee you is I will not sell these for less than $1,499.95. More than likely, it'll be a lot more. I envision much closer to $1,999. Okay, I envision, uh, I envision 24 dollars 29 because if you look at the coins around it, once again, the next rarest coin, the 95W, it's 30000 in this. Wow. This coin's five times rarer More than the rarer 95W, than okay? So inevitably it's going to become so... 2015P. Right. Okay, that coin's $4,600. They did 79,000 of those. They did 31,000 of the 95Ws. And they, they 5, did 5,900 of these. 5,966. Oh, and 66. <laughs> okay. <laughs> in the interest of clarity, in the, exist <laughs> in the interest of exactitude, okay, 5,966. 5,966 in the congratulations set. That is not representative of the PR70. So what we've got is an, an American Silver Eagle, which is the rarest of all of the West Point minted proof eagles, is the 30th anniversary coin, regardless of the, of the congratulations set. Then you have it in, the, then you have it certified perfect, and you have it out of the congratulations set. So what we have here, and people use this and kind of throw this term around, but I have got quite literally here, the rarest of the rarest of the rare. Literally the rarest of the rarest of the rare. That is really ultimately what your opportunity is here. Uh, I know we spent a lot of time you here. Was, it was, it's a very this cool. This is why I said I, I get to show. do a coin like this once every five years. Oh, yeah. You this know, where we find something. The thing that comes to mind is when I did the 1999 West Point Mint $5 Gold Eagles. I remember I originally sold those coins for about $1,000 here. I sold them here, the 1990. And I sold those in about 2000 and three maybe something like that go out and try to find those coins today they're gonna run yeah, you right? about they're gonna run you about they're gonna run you about five grand I remember selling those coins. It was an error coin where they put a W on a coin where they weren't and they supposed were to. It was we a sold them for a thousand. Now they're and worth I had, And I found the hoard. I found them all. I mean, you know, I had, we had like 600 coins. It seemed like that would be a, a supply that would last forever. It lasted two weeks, and I haven't been able to sell one since. I've mm. been able to sell one here in over 10 years. Mm. Well, and that's why as we count this down to zero, this is such an, um, it, it's a moment you'll never forget when you made this purchase tonight, which I am so happy 255 people have. We will update you in every last, those final 70 sell out. The item is 578914. Quick mention on something still to come. Uh, oh, the congratulations. That's the congratulations that's right. for this 2017. That's right. Now they made 75,000 of those. Still an amazingly, fantastically rare coin. Yeah. Okay, it's the San Francisco minted proof eagle. Uh -huh. Okay, the regular proof silver eagle is West Point mint. So it's an amazingly rare and desirable and incredible coin in its own right. Like I said, I've only got 69 of those remaining. I've only got 69 of those. A great companion piece. I sold out of the 70s at about 500 bucks uh, uh, with those. So I've got a very few of the uh, of the proof 69s left. And as you can see, still in our first day of issue with that as well. Aaron, is this one? I think it is. Yeah, 553386, 553386. Yeah, as you can see, what do we got? 463 in the limited edition. That's going to be right there. Mm -hmm. Also, we have all the proof. The state quarters coming up. Always one of your all-time favorites. I got them. It is. And they're $50 off tonight. That's coming up. 541 And I finally have enough where we can spend some time on them. Usually awesome. I'm rushing four minutes, five minutes, something like that. I got 500 sets, folks. Okay. Well, they go. So if you want to pre-order, you should. 541286. If you want to take $10 off your first purchase, you just need to get the HSN card tonight. It's a great card to have because you heard us even earlier with the HP Laptop Today special. VIP financing is an outstanding part of being a VIP shopper with that card. Uh, we've got more to come. 30 minutes left of this show with Coin Collecting, and this is the last show of the visit until September. Stay with us.
excited for this week's Monday Night Show, you definitely don't want to miss it. We're celebrating 40 years of American dreams. Celebrate with an extra hour dedicated to genius beauty innovations. Plus, transform those uncomfortable shoes into your new favorites with the help of Storesmith Shoe Stretchers. Join us at a special start time Monday at 6 p.m. or search Monday Night Show on hsn.com. The G by Juliana line is fun, it's fresh, and fabulous. I want to make sure all women feel beautiful and fashionable and always feel in style. This is fun. Isn't I it? love collecting money. <laughs> what we get to talk about next, Mike is here for our final 30 minutes. This is our last show for the whole month of October. And this is, this is that $269 Silver Eagle. This is the, well, PR69. So. Well, we, no, we already sold that. We just showed that. We oh, have a new yeah, one. This is the SP70. On. Wrong card, Callie. Moving on. Let's move on. <laughs> already sold 24 of these. The, even better, SP70. As you can see, two, uh, four, four point nine stars. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to sit down here How just for a second. How is this 149? Well, that's my point exactly. Once again. Uh, the United States government, I think they made 183,000 of these, which makes it the rarest satin finish eagle ever made by the United States government. I, uh, I foolishly bought 30,000 of them, not really foolishly, because I think it's one of the great and undiscovered coins. Is this the fall, remember the fall between the cracks coin? Oh, that's this is right, it. this is this the is one. It. This is the fall okay. between the cracks coin. <laughs> and people, people ask me about that. So do you have the fall between the cracks coin? I say, yeah, I do, as a matter of fact. Let's explain what that means. I'll explain what that means. <laughs> the United States government makes every year, they make certain coins like the congratulations sets that created that great American rarity that we just sold. Uh, they sell to order, okay? So in other words, as people order them, they make so many, and then they either melt them down or destroy them or quit selling them. There's a, there's a finite life to these. Well, because of, in 2016, and it was the 30th anniversary, okay? So you have the 30th anniversary. Here's this 30th anniversary American Silver Eagle, and it's stamped. So they did the proof coin stamped on the edge, and they did the SP coin stamped ah. on the edge. So this is the other, this is the affordable 30th anniversary coin. So if you don't have the 1500, here you go for $149.95. So here's what happens. So the United States government, remember we sold the gold coins last hour? Yes. So the Mercury Dime, the Standing Liberty Quarter, the Walking Liberty Half Dollar. The government was all tied up in making those. That was like a big deal. So like in 2016, when they do this SP, they do three different uh, uh, things. They do a mint state coin, a proof coin, and then a satin finisher SP coin. Those are the three silver eagles that they've done for several years now. That's it. They normally, like for 2017, it's already released. It's traditionally released by March or April at the very latest, sometimes January, February. But in 2016, they were all tied up in these, in these gold coins, these mercury dimes and all that. They didn't basically release this coin until December. As a matter of fact, I never had an opportunity to even sell this coin in 2016. I sold not one of them. In because two. they released it in September of 2016. De December. Oh, December. I think it was mm. actually late November, but okay. functionally December. Okay. I never had the opportunity to even sell this coin in 2016. By the way, we have 500. Right. That's all we got. That's right. It's almost a perfectly rated five-star customer pick, too. Absolutely. And we've sold, we've, I've sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these. And then what happens is, is, and I bought them. As soon as I, they came out and I saw the 30th anniversary, and then I saw the mintage figures, I just jumped in, both feet. Because what happens is, is all of a sudden now I have got a tremendous American rarity. And by the end of the year, by December, people are no longer looking at the coins from 2016. They don't care if it's a 30th anniversary coin and it's a big deal. They don't care about that. They're getting ready for the 2017, so they're getting ready for the new Silver Eagle and they're getting ready for all of this other stuff, right? So they're just not paying attention. And so what you end up with is the rarest satin finish eagle ever made by the United States government on one hand. That alone should bring the $149.95. And the reason I can do that is I bought like 30,000 coins. So I go. bought like 20% of the whole mint. Okay, wow. And we spent almost $2 million on these money. coins. Holy right? moly. And here's the reason I loved them. Well, remember we talked about the 10th anniversary, 20th anniversary, 25th anniversary, the 30th anniversary. The government did not release a set. 
What they did is they stamped on the edge 30th anniversary. They didn't do it with the mint state coins. They only did it with the proof coin, like the one we just sold for 1500 and the satin finish coin that you see right here. That you can get at $37.49, and it comes with the wooden box. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, which, 20, which uh, I think $14.95 cent value. So here's where we stand with this. So now, as we look at this, so now when you look at the anniversary coins, because this is the 30th anniversary coin, it says so right on the edge. Mm -hmm. The only one of the anniversary coins that say on the edge. So you have the 10th anniversary coin, of course, in this condition, that coin, as we've discussed, is $30,000. Then you go to the 20th anniversary coin, and that was the first reverse proof American Silver Eagle. That coin in this condition, I think we sell for, I think it's 11 or 1200 bucks. Maybe we'll call it 1000 A 1000 bucks. This coin's rarer than that coin, by the way. Then the 25th anniversary American Silver Girl, which is a reverse proof coin. Okay, a little bit rarer than this coin, but that one I do sell for $1,200. I mean, seriously. So, so now you have the anniversary coins, okay? Uh -huh. The anniversary eagles. You have your choice between 1000 1200 30000 or 149 or 149 okay. <laughs> I'm in. Okay. I'm uh, in. Or 149 So this coin, in essence, fell between the cracks. And by falling between the cracks, falling through the cracks, gives you a collectible opportunity. Now, that's just on the face of the 30th anniversary part of this coin. But now look at it, okay, as a Silver Eagle, as a standalone, because the 30th anniversary is an additional designator of value. Because the United States government has only been making these satin finish or SP coins since 2006. So this is the 10th anniversary of the satin finish coins. Of all of the satin finish coins that they've made, they make one basically every year, they skipped a couple years in the middle there, from 2006 to date, this is the rarest satin finish coin. Okay? This is the rarest satin finish coin. It's the third rarest. It is the third rarest of any of the anniversary American Silver Eagles. So you have rarity on incredible levels, but I'm basically selling it to you for the price of a regular American Silver Eagle. I have the regular proof Silver Eagle from this year. It's just proof Silver Eagle like they've been making for 30-something 30, 30 years, 31 years, right? It's 179 bucks. Now I have the satin finish from this year. The 2017's already been released. We sell them. 149 bucks. This is this wow. is my original issue price. Wow. Because I still have the coins, because I had not only the wherewithal, but the foresight to realize that this would be a special coin. That this would be one of the great rarities. Even though it fell through the cracks, fell between the cracks, even though the vast majority of collectors didn't even realize that the coin existed, mm -hmm. I understood what it was. I understood its possibility. I understood what it could bring to you. And we bought very, very, very you are heavily. Very These are intuitive. last year's. Good, for, good job. You I do. Do. Oftentimes, though, however, I have a warehouse full of stuff that it didn't work out that way. <laughs> well, you know, this one, this one high did. risk, high reward sometimes. Yes, that's right. And because we can try to anticipate, and it has turned out to be so on this particular coin. This coin is one of the great American affordable rarities. And so you have the 30, I love the, the red oak presentation come, box. Yeah, the window, the wooden window box is included with this coin and it is on its way for only $37.49. It's one of the rare times that we can offer it on a flex pay. So certainly an opportunity to, you heard my talk about the rarity. Rarity is, is, is the key to making a good choice in your coin collection. Uh, this is 538906. I know we've got so few of these left. Many people jumping in. It's just been a great night of collecting. And again, whether you're a dealer, whether you're a personal collector like me, and you know what? Investing in money, trying to pass something down to kids and grandkids and carry on a legacy and American history in a lot of cases. I think that's one of the things I've lo learned to love so much about coin collecting, Mike, is just you learn so much about the history of our country and why these coins are so valuable today. Well, and understand, it, it's an American silver eagle. Yeah. It's an ounce of pure silver. Exactly. So you got a great backdrop of intrinsic value. That's how good's that? I mean, you know, hey, good for us. <laughs> and then you've got rarity, you got collectability, yep. you've got historic value yep. with this because it's a 30th anniversary American silver eagle. They did a 10th anniversary, a 20th anniversary, and a 25th anniversary, and they did sets. They never did a set on this. Huh. I don't know why they didn't do yeah. a 30th anniversary set, but they did edge letter them. So not only is it the rarest of all of the satin finish American silver eagles, it's the only one of the satin finish eagles that is uh, put right on the coin 30th anniversary, or any anniversary. That 10th anniversary coin does not say on the coin 30th, 10th anniversary. And that was done 
At the Mint. That was done at the Mint. We yeah. didn't do that. The right. Mint did that edge yeah, lettering. West Point. That was another reason why it took so long for those coins to come out at the end of the year. Because that edge lettering is a very specific, very difficult yeah. process. Yeah. And so the Mint had to go do that as well. So that became a thing, okay? <laughs> and for them to be able to have to do that as well. So they had to do the edge lettering, they were doing the gold coins, they were doing all the other stuff, and then because of all of those things, because of all of those things, they made an extraordinarily small quantity of these coins. They made a very small quantity of these coins. If you look at some of the special edition eagles that are out there, the 2013, the enhanced uncirculated mm -hmm. I was talking mm -hmm. about, this coin is rarer than that. They made 225,000 of those coins. Uh, and that coin sells for $299 or $399. So when you look at all the rare special edition eagles that are out there, this coin is rarer than most of them and absolutely less expensive <clears throat> than all of them. It's for sure one and of our most affordable coins of the night. Absolutely no doubt about it, particularly given its history, given its yep. collectability, given its desirability, yep. given its rarity, by the time you put all that in. And then we'll still give you the Red Oak presentation yeah. box. This is my original issue price. That's why it's a 4.8 star customer. $37.49 on a flex pay. It's yours. Uh, 538906. Uh, quick mention on something that just blows my mind. We have how many remaining, Rick? Okay, there's about four dozen lucky people. I mean, Mike, four dozen. Yeah, that Does will that go away in, as we go. All the people that taped, all those people, that, that will go away. Five, seven, eight, nine, one, four. I think we sold, that means we sold about 275. Somewhere right in that Something like number. that, yeah. So, oh, 276. Good for you. <laughs> you get the uh, math award for tonight. <laughs> so, if you want to... Oh, in fact, we have so many cool things on HSN.com, and I know a lot of you do your shopping with us there for coins, but there's the most beautiful Patricia Nash purse, purse that I wanted to show you. It's the uh, Grouchy Tooled Leather Frame Satchel. I had this with her just the other day. It is beyond spectacular. There's gold or gray black, uh, 566512, just as a case in point, because we have to put our money somewhere. Might as well I put like it. the gold. You gold. do? I like the black. The so black, yeah. Her work is amazing. Patricia Nash, love her. Anyway, back to our final few moments tonight of coins. This is the satin finished silver eagle at 149. This too, very limited so edition. I just told you the, the SP, we had this, the 2016 SP70. Yeah. Here's the 2017. I told you it was already released. I've got it, 3195 in the in the limited edition. As you can see, $149.95. Yeah. I've got them. We're gonna give you two minutes to get this year's. Now this is our first day issue, so this is available exclusively through us. Okay, so this is available exclusively through us. Four point, about three stars, I'm guessing? Yeah, some, yeah, 4.4. 4.4, mm -hmm. so you always, you always get to guess the, the star percentage there. Still gonna come in the Red Oak presentation box, still SP or satin finish. Now, in a year, like this year, the United States government is going to release the mint state coin, they're gonna release the proof coin, and they will release the satin finish or SP coin. Of the three coins, Silver Eagles, that the United States government releases, the SP is always the rarest, okay? It is always the rarest of those coins will be the SP coins. And that's what we've got right here. So of the three Eagles that will be released by the United States government this year, this will be the rarest as a standalone in terms of type. Okay, in terms of type of these coins. Uh, I suspect to date they've made somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe only 100,000 or so of these coins. So this could be one of those kind of coins that falls between, because we have so many other coins. We got the Enhanced Uncirculated set that we have. We have the Congratulations set. We got a big S Mint set of Eagles that are coming out at the end of the year. We've got the Liberty Medal set that's coming out. We've got a bunch of cool stuff, because this is 225th anniversary of the United States Mint. There's a lot of cool stuff still to come out this year. So this might be one one of those coins that uh, uh, falls between the cracks, falls through the cracks, and ends up being one of the great uh, American rarities, and still at our original issue price at $149.95, and you can get it in our exclusive, exclusive first day of issue life. And a rare opportunity to get a flex pay, too. Yeah. Uh, $37.49. It's yours, 570779. So, yeah, a real quick two-minute special. Uh, something... 
This is also going to be quick. This is the American Liberty Silver Medal at 129. Let's take a, uh, take a moment on this. This is more of like the counterpart counterpart to that unique gold coin. Is it not, Mike? Yeah. Well, they, they released a gold Liberty this year. I think we have it. It's about $2,800 roughly. They did that same design in silver. And they did it in this beautiful deep cameo finish, as you can see right here. Gorgeous. Look at this fantastic deep cameo finish. What I love, oops, I forget since it's a metal. Look at that eagle. Wow. I collect coins for eagles. That's one of the things that I like to do. There is no eagle on an American coin that approximates this particular coin. The beautiful downdraft of the wings, as you can see, is clearly an eagle in flight. United States of America, this is made at the Philadelphia Mint, as well you can see. And there we're going to have it. And it's in our first day of uh, our first day of issue certified exclusive dust, only 975 in the entire limited edition. The thing that I like it's with pure this pure silver. Is pure silver mm -hmm. as well. Look at this, if we can get in close. Look at, the, look at the work that the United States government did on the certificate of authenticity. And then the, uh, it looks like they have another one it on there. It does, wow. But if you look at this, this it gives you the entire history yeah. of United States medals. Look at this, going all the way back. There's That's Caesar is what that is. What a great that's coin to get your, we go back. your yeah. kids started so with the collection. So you get all this, and the history alone that goes into this, tells you all the specifications, comes with all of the original United States Mint packaging that comes with this comes with the original United States Mint box. Look at this beautiful mm, box nice. that it comes with right here as well. So you get the, the original box. That's a that's a nice uh, uh, a wood box that you're going to have with that. You get that entire thing for $129.95. $129.95 in our limited edition, available exclusively from us here. That's 573297. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, and, uh, Final mention on the congratulations coin. Uh, this is so, it is so down to the wire right now. So I, if you have any interest in getting it, this price will never be done again. Mike said it earlier, and I mean, seriously, the next time you see it, if ever, it's gonna be two grand probably, maybe 2,500. It's definitely time to do it. If, if, if you're a collector or a dealer, don't expect a better price anywhere. 578914 is the item number for you there as we move into our final um, opportunity tonight. <sighs> this is the one. Did you hear Mike just sigh? <sighs> First of all, well, I'm, I'm sighing because of the price break, which we've never done. And now we have quantities to be able to spend a few more than five minutes on And it. that's the thing. <laughs> I'm always rushing. I'm always up against it on this set. And one of the big reasons is, is it's so phenomenally popular. And, and I've got to try to do this without destroying the entire Thing. Let me see if I can do that. If I do destroy the entire thing, I apologize in you. advance. We'll put it all back together. Yeah, we will. Uh, because of this set. We've already sold 16 of these. Wow. That's probably from the, the last time I sold this set. Um, we uh, probably had 100 people that tried to order and couldn't. Because I always have 100, I, I have 150, that's... I have 200, I have 250, I have whatever, you know, I have whatever I have. Because they're very difficult to get, particularly this 2008 set right down here. And I'll get to all that in a minute. Let's go back in just a little bit of time, okay? All the proof state quarters. I have no idea why all the proof is parenthetical in that. <laughs> just, it's, it's all the proof it's state quarters. Ten it's, it's years descriptive. of state quarters. It's, it's just descriptive. It's actually 12, 11. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it's true. Inclusive. Yeah. That's true. Uh, 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 so it's just all the proof state quarters. Now, what is proof? Proof, understand, is not a condition but a method of manufacturing, okay? Proof coins are made differently. Proof coins are special presentation coins. And the United States government, the proof coins only come in the United States government issue proof sets, just like you see here. Now, here's why this is always one of the absolute number one best sellers that we have. I am selling you these sets for less than the United States government did originally. What? The original cost on these with shipping and handling was $20 a set, $220 from the United States government with the, with, with the uh, shipping and handling because it was $14.95 plus $5 a shipping set? and handling. A set? A set. $14.95, yeah, that's normal for a proof okay. set. Okay. Matter of fact, today's proof set is about $55, bucks, okay? okay? So these were just the state quarter starting in 1999, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002, and it's all of those. 
I have then not only, because they put them out in these lenses, so they're difficult to see. If you go over there in front of Cali, mm -hmm. if we can look at that, I made a custom-made box. The United States oh, Mint cool. kind of sells a similar box. I think it's $14.95 or $15.95. I, I put a seal on there. I put it in the box so that you can hold that. And there you go, Cali, you can hold it. So you can pull out any of the lenses and you can check them out. They're put in at an angle so they're easy to see and, and collect and hold. Very nice. So you have a nice place to put all 11 of the sets and you get them for basically 12 bucks a piece. That's crazy. Count the box in at $14.95 yeah. and you're $10 a piece on the set. You're basically That's literally crazy. $10 a piece on the set. These are going fast. I don't yes. even know if we're gonna make nine minutes. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll hopefully see. get there. Okay. So now let me explain to you. So you have the original government proof sets. I put them in a box for you. I sell them to you for less than the United States government does. And you're going, well, they can't, I guess they're just not worth anything these days. <laughs> <laughs> Au contraire. <laughs> if you go to the nationally advertised catalog, as I want to do while I'm here, and let's go to this set. This, the, and I include this because they did the 10, uh, all 50 states, five coins per year, and then they did all the national uh, historic, uh, these are the uh, uh, territories, U.S. territories. So you have Washington, D.C. and the oh, Northern Mariana it. Islands, Puerto Rico, you know, uh, right. American Samoa, all That's that. Right. So those are the, the six coins from 2009. Now, individually, if you look at these coins and I look them up in the catalog, these little guys right here, $11.95 a piece. Oh. Times six of them. Oh my gosh. So that's like 70 bucks. Yeah. Okay, that's like 70 bucks for the 2009s. Okay. If I look at the 2008s, uh -huh. and these are actually the key coins, the Hawaii coin by itself individually, $45. Stop. $17.95, $17.95, $17.95, $17.95, $17 $17 and $45. Bucks. So that's about 120. So you're about 200 bucks, the cost of what I normally sell the set for, 199 for, for, just the, those two. for, the, for the last two sets. I'm gonna, I'm gonna insist you take all 11 for $50 okay. off and I'm gonna give you a box. Okay. Okay. This is awesome. I've never seen us do, well, first of all, at 199 this sells out in moments, and we are busy already oh, on it. Well, yeah, all, every, everything's going on on yep, this one. I yep. mean, you know, every, every phone line going. Because what you have, so, so if you were collecting the state quarters back in the day. Okay. Understand, unless you have these specific lenses that you see here, yeah. you don't have them. Because these are proof coins. These are not the coins that were released at the bank or the post office or somewhere out there in the general stream of commerce. These coins are only available in these United States. Like here's the 1999. It says 50 state quarters. That's not a good one. That's one of the ones I dropped last week. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll show everybody. I'll, 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 yeah. I'll show my what own folly do? and foibles right there. I, I, I dropped that one on the ground. Oh. <laughs> well, you won't be getting this. No, you won't this get that. Well, that's set. why it's a sample set. That's exactly. but, but let's, you know, I, you know I, I do those kinds of things. I'm sorry. Uh, and then, so here you have the 50 state quarters. There's the United States Mint logo that uh -huh. you're going to have right there. Awesome. And proof, remember, is not a condition but a method of manufacturing. The coins are struck multiple times at higher pressures oh. to give you this mirror finish. More important. Importantly, they are significantly and substantially rarer than the regular issue coins. So if you were collecting the regular issue coin, let's say in 1999, and you had, the, oh, I have all the Delaware quarters, gem brilliant uncirculated. Well, these coins are like 400 times rarer. Wow. <laughs> They're like 400 times rarer. So when you look at this coin by coin by coin, there's 56 coins here. 56, 56. coins, you're so right. Two and a half bucks a piece. And some you're, of them are two worth and a half bucks a piece. Like, These are all like ten, eleven dollars a piece. These average twenty dollars a piece. And I'm looking here in the catalog and proof. I mean, the 1999s. Those are a mere six fifty a piece. So thirty-two bucks for that. Is it just me, or are we making money on buying yeah, this set? Yeah, today? that's right. That's right. And that's what it comes down to. So, to, so I'm looking at so. So, what are one of the? Uh, okay, here's. There's a few of these, like the uh, what are the 2003s in the catalog. You can actually get the 2003 set for eleven dollars. Basically, what I pay. So 99, 2001, two, three. So this set they sell for the same price we do. Everything else, we're anywhere between three and ten times less, less. money. Yeah. Less money. Yeah. So that that's what it is. And as you look at some of these, and some of them are, are just you know kind of crazy in terms of their collectability and their desirability. The Hawaii coin, by far and away, uh, uh, being the rarest uh, uh, coin in that set. Coin and it was by in 09 that they added the uh, the five territories, right? The six territories. Six territories. There's actually six. Territories. That's oh. why it's 56 coins. You got the 50 That's, states, okay, and then the six territories. Got it. So if, if you remember what the United States state quarters were, this you have to understand. 1998, okay. 1998, I was 
on TV selling coins. That's uh -huh. what I do. Uh -huh. The coin industry, I got to be honest with you, was a little, it was kind of dead. The United States government didn't have anything interesting. They haven't done anything other than release a penny, nickel, dime, quarter, half dollar okay. for, kind of boring. for 20 years. It was boring. It couldn't have been more boring. <laughs> and then they released the state quarters. Oh, that's... And then they released the state quarters. I remember in 1999, we had the Delaware quarter when it came out. Mm. And we had those, and we had them individually listed. I think they were $1.99 or $2.99. We had 10,000 of them that we put in the system. Yeah. When we went on the air, yeah. by the time I got on the air that night, and we and went on the air this? that night, uh, 1999. 99, okay. Okay. We went on the air. I, we thought there was a glitch. <gasps> what happened? Well, they were all gone. Oh, my gosh. But they had all sold. That's crazy. I have literally sold more of these state quarters than anybody else alive. I have sold millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of United States state's quarters. But what I have not sold millions of is this set. And the reason is, is there's not millions of these sets to sell. <laughs> if there was, I would try. And that's why it's so critically important for you to understand when I have enough to actually spend some time so I can talk about the quarters. But we're counting you have to backwards. understand this is, a, this is a micro, it's been so long since I've been able to talk about quarters. How about you wanna have the only United States coin that you're gonna see right there with a diamond on it? 2003 Arkansas. Ooh. Oh wow, and you know why that's that is? amazing. Because you can go find diamonds in Arkansas. At Crater Lake State Park, you, really? get the, you can find diamonds and you can keep them. <laughs> oh, You pay oh, cool. 10 bucks and you go look for diamonds. That's crazy. The only United States coin with a race car on it, of course, is Indiana, okay? It's going to be in there. You're going to have all of this history that each and every state decided to do, and they're memorialized in the rarest possible way, <clears throat> which is the proof American state quarter collection. And I can bring it to you for the lowest price. If you had been buying these things in 1999, if you would have bought them originally from the United States government, you would have paid more than 100 $149.95. And that is very simply just the fact of the matter. And by the way, they're beautiful. Look at how shiny they well, are. No, because they're proof coins. Yeah. Let me let me show yeah. you these. Look at look at these coins. Because proof coins, once again, are made differently. Look at the reflectiveness of yeah, these. Really pretty. Check these out. They're struck multiple times. By the way, you want a San Francisco mint United States quarter? The only way to get them is in here. They is didn't it? release any S mint or San Francisco mint. The P's and the D's, Philadelphia and Denver's, those what went into circulation. The only way to get the San Francisco coin is right here. And we have drop below 300. That is now more than half the quantity spoken for, and we have a ton of you ordering. <laughs> you can hear the excitement in Mike's voice. It's so rare that this is even available in any quantities at all, and these are going to be selling out in the next two minutes. These are going to sell out. So we see if you're on the lines. Don't hang up. Jump in. Get it now. 541 Will you show them the box again real quick? Yeah. Because I custom made the box. So what you do is I want to go over here and turn it sideways so you can see that we show it at an angle. Yep so that it's easy when you look at the coins, you can look down and see the coins. The box has been custom made. Look at that beautiful, uh, uh, we have beautiful. just that impressed silver, that's uh, silver foil, it's not actual silver. Silver foil, but we gotta seal the US, okay? So that you can put those coins in there, you can check them out, you can see both sides of them. This is all the original government packaging. Every bit of this is absolutely and truly spectacular. And in terms of value, Okay, the box, I think the mint sells a similar box like that. I think it's about $15 plus $5 shipping and handling. So you're only at $129. Okay. So with 11 sets, yeah. you're basically uh, you're $11 a set. Okay, you're $11 a set. Once again, if you look at these, these are $11.95 a piece. There's six coins, there's 70 coins, 70, 70 bucks, bucks there. Where the coins Not are just 11, that 70. Sleeve. Right here, $45, $17.95, $17.95, $17.95, $17.95. So this bottom row exceeds. Yeah, exactly. So again, <laughs> you can understand why we're both excited. Do the excited math any way you want to do it. Mm -hmm. It's a deal. It's an opportunity. Every single one of these coins is a sold out limited edition. When I say you get, get them for less than from the government, they were all sold out a decade ago from the United States government. These sold out in 1999. Okay, so these are sold out almost 20 years. My gosh. Yeah, you can get them for less than original government issue pricing. As you can see, we have 223, 222 left. I have more people than that yep. on the phone, yep. folks. We've yep. got maybe 30 seconds yep. or these, so these here. These will be selling Is up, they're not right? yet. Yeah, so, so please, yeah, get them while you can. 541286. Mm -hmm. This has been an amazing night. Yeah. That 30th, uh, that congratulations coin, That's I think just... we've got two dozen left. Can we show that to you uh, on the way out the door? Because I'd love for everybody to get their hands on it. It's been a great night of collecting. 
interesting. Nice yeah, to we, brought a lot, we brought a lot of unique stuff. I had quantity of stuff that I normally yeah. don't have. I have a coin I've never been able to sell before with the 16 congratulations said. It's been a great night for collecting. 541-286, last call there. Uh, thanks again, Mike. We'll see you September 2nd. Yep. I will see you again tomorrow afternoon. Rhonda Shears here, but right up now, Adam and Aaron with our today's special from AP. HP. <laughs> Welcome to Generation Wow. For over 75 years, HP has been the leader in innovation, pioneering technology, through cutting-edge products and forward-thinking solutions. HP makes life better for everyone, everywhere. From laptops and desktops to monitors and printers, the visionaries at HP create experiences that amaze. Let their experts help you reinvent how you work, play, and live. HP and HSN. Keep reinventing. Only on HSN. The appraised values you see at HSN are set by independent, professionally certified appraisers. They determine, as closely as possible, the approximate retail cost of replacing or recreating the item, not the possible sell or purchase price. Because subjective estimates and judgments are involved, appraisals may vary by as much as 25%. Call your customer service rep for more information. Well, a very good evening, everybody. Welcome on in to our special electronics finale. We have two action-packed hours and some amazing 